Desserts with a Regal Touch is brought to you by Regal Products. On a Sunday, I feel like a real sweet man. True <laughs> <laughs> talk. Regal Desserts with that Regal Touch and Chef Cheryl and Show Charles is here this morning. So Chef Cheryl, also guys, um, most of the... <laughs> Interestingly, most of uh, the cake artists that pass through this show, Cheryl Ann Shaw Charles would have touched them with her hands and shaped them into the cake artists they are today. Well, yes, that's true. I would like to think that, uh, you know, I gave them the foundation because without a sound foundation, they can't have sound walls. Yeah. And at TTHGI, a lot of them did pass through my hands as pastry students and as culinary students. And it's really rewarding to see what they've become, what they've done with the basics that I've given them. I think now where they are is in part to what they have done with what I've taught them. Yeah. Taken it, run with it, and developed you're, in like the way a, that you're like a proud mommy boy oh my. Yeah, I, mean, I don't i don't think there's no words to describe yeah yeah to describe it and uh, sometimes it brings tears to my eye because sometimes even now students have taught years ago if they have a problem they will still call me and say miss i'm having a problem with this what do and you they call think? you mister yes <laughs> <laughs> what can i do with you know yeah. with it to fix it yeah. and along the way as well i've found i've had students who you develop long lasting relationship yeah. with yeah. Yeah. so even now sometimes if i have functions i'll call them and i say could you do this could you do that yeah. so i'll pass stuff on to them full so, network full i'm talking network. swastika reese a uh, couple, couple of the guys yeah. would have passed through the show so chef this morning um we getting this she didn't finish the cake Somebody bites a piece of a cake this morning. This is a wedding cake, Chef? Yes, um, people use it in various ways. It can be used as a wedding cake. Can you explain can, what's happening here? It's Why? called a jeweled cake. A jeweled and cake. if people know jewelry, stones, gems, that is what it is. Um, mm -hmm. It's a relatively new um, fashion that's come on now with cakes. I think it started maybe around 2017, 2018, like that. Uh, it's very time consuming. So what you have to do is I did, I made rock candy. Mm. When you make the rock candy, you have to allow it to crystallize in order to give you that kind of which is, which is, stone look. Right, right. So it's right. rock candy. Yeah, so it's rock candy. And inside of it, if you open up a geode, a lot of the color deep the color inside gems, of it. Yeah, yes, which gems is the, which are is inside. The yeah, yeah. And then when you come out, it comes out a little light and different colors but as the light hits it. Everything is edible here? Everything is edible. All, all, all of this rock finish? Well, you may have to suck on it a little bit because it's right, very hard. Right, right. I wouldn't advise you bite it because then you wouldn't be a sweet man anymore. <laughs> come, come, come. come. Let's, let's keep me a sweet man. What are you doing for us this morning, Chef? So, in a lot of weddings now, you have brides who want a sweet table a sweet table a sweet table this is outside of the wedding cake outside of the wedding cake they want a nice sweet dessert table oh. with chocolate fountain and all those kind of stuff so i always found that these meringue are a lovely way to add color mm. and to add a, another definition outside of the cakes wafers cookies you know sweets that kind of thing right, right, and it's right. relatively easy to make as well right. and then i made them into some pops so you have them there, you have kids inside. Now the thing about the hard part about it now is parents going to blame you for having the kids running around like headless chickens right. after a wedding. Sugar high. Sugar high. <laughs> you know, All but right. it's really, really so easy. So easy is it to It's make? very easy. Yeah. And it's simply egg whites mm -hmm. and you can use sugar or icing sugar. Right? So For me, can, the icing use, sugar melts faster. Right, so you can use the regal icing sugar. You yeah. can use the regal icing sugar. Mm -hmm. Now, what I did to get these spiral look, I took, and it's very easy again, took some coloring, dipped my stick in it, held the bag. Now, if this is a, a little difficult for you to handle, you could get a cup that the bag could fit over, rest it in. And I took it and I just run one stroke there. 
Now, Joel, I find you sitting down, you feel you get yeah, away yeah. because you know. Wait, I ain't one more cup of coffee. I always like get involved. <laughs> no, no, no. no you not, know? Not. This time around, I ain't drinking coffee. Get my coffee, please, somebody. Somebody. Right? Because you know. Oh my goodness. Go ahead, right. go ahead. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, the filling could be anything you want as well. So, you could do ganache. I made a, a simple frosting. Now the thing about it as well, I didn't make the frosting too sweet because remember the meringue in itself is sweet. Yeah. Right? So in the bag. Now what you will want to get all of them even sized, you may want to mark your paper. Now the key thing you want to remember is lead is not edible people. What is not edible? Lead from your pencil. Right. So you want to mark the underneath of the paper. <laughs> right. Lift the paper over. Right. And then pipe. Right. Right? Got you. So what I did is I just piped some and we started from the inside. See? So it's now coming out. So it's now coming out. You will see it coming out. Wow. Right? Now these bake at very low temperature right. because of the reason you want all the liquids and stuff inside of the sugar to melt away, to dissipate, right? And if you put it at a high temperature, it's going to be too chewy. You want that nice little crunch in it. And also sometimes what tends to happen at a high temperature, it will turn brown. Right. And you don't want it to turn brown because want you want to, to get that rich, vivacious color. Right. Oh, you're See? going all different shapes and yeah. sizes, right? Yeah. Right, right. Now, some, some people may know it as soupies. You know, soupies. soupies, I know soupies. I was trying to remember the word, soupies. Soupies, soupies. long soupies. time you yeah. go you know, to the bakery. Yes. They have these huge, colorful things, soupies. And Nothing in it. You bite into it and it's just eh, air. Like, but yeah. sugar rush for days. Ridiculous. Right? Now, I have some here. Right. Sure, that's and then you impressive. Put it, right. You put it in the oven at about one. I like it at 175. Some people tend to bake it at 200 for about two hours. Now the next key Two hours of baking for? Two hours. But here the thing. After your two hours, you want to turn off your oven and leave it in the oven because you want it, as I said, to be really dry. See how it is? Right. Well, Chef, this is impressive. I mean, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? You have some skills, you know. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> she has some skills. She has some skills. So this is... You thought I could not bake? No. What do you call it? Meringue pops. Meringue pops. So we pipe some frosting in the middle. Put a stick. Now these I have here cake pop sticks. Right. Right. If you want, you could get pallet sticks, whichever, however shape you want. And I put oh, that there. Oh, that's why you got the lollipop thing there. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Simple? Simple. You can try it. Nice. I'm not sure I will be trying this, but... Um, you will eat it. I have a chef here with me all the time, so... <laughs> this is impressive. Yes. And, and, and as you said, it is simple. Yeah, very simple. It is simple. Very simple. The hardest thing is the cream, the icing. The hard, hardest thing is that, and what you want to do, you can leave it, mm -hmm. let it whip. You want, to, want it to whip till it's stiff. Right. And you, when you, how you know it's stiff is when you pull that beater up, it stands at a peak. Yes, the peaks. You see, and the know peaks, what you're talking the about. The peaks. Right. It stands at a peak, the peaks. and it's if once you pull it and it flops a little, you need to let it whip a little more. Yes. So you could leave it, let it whip until it's shiny and glossy, and you get that stiff peak, and then you're ready to go. Yeah. Thank you very much. Huh? You're welcome. Next time, bring a whole cake from it. Huh? That's why you're not <laughs> going to get any. <laughs> We're taking a short break, guys. We're coming right back. Uh, this was uh, Desserts with a Regal Touch brought to you by the folks at Regal Products. Desserts with a Regal Touch is brought to you by Regal Products.